Hello everyone, welcome back to Sally's Rods and Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to lap valves. Um, I've got, um, got the heads here off the 253. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, it's a really nice flat seat, but um, because it sat for a fairly long time, it's sort of a bit, bit corroded looking in the, in the um, valve seat there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I use this um, valve grinding compound. This, is a, this, is a, this brand is Dynagrip. It's got a coarse side and a fine side. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, I'm going to put some of that valve lapping compound on the valve itself and a little bit on the seat. I just use a little paintbrush. Um, I'll zoom in a bit closer here for you and show you what I'm actually doing, and um, and you can see the process. So, like I mentioned, a little paintbrush. Paint a bit of that lapping compound on the valve seat in the head. Put a little bit around the valve itself. Um, stick it in the hole back down. It's they're a pretty snug fit in there, so you've got to sort of you can hear that grindy noise. That's the that's the seat and the compound grinding together. So you just rub it like it's got a suction cup on the end of this tool. Um, I usually just put a bit of spit on it until it grips. Keep raising it and lowering it as you go and it will um, you'll hear the grinding compound grinding away. Add a bit more every now and then just to keep the process going. Now I've done I've done these four already so I know this doesn't take very long because yeah, the heads are in really good condition. Um, but I'll show you what happens. So I don't know how well it showed up before, but if you can see it now, you can see that whole silver part in there is the seat starting to polish up. And you see on this end here, you see a little bit of, a little bit of porosity there. I've got to keep grinding until I don't see that, until it looks like this side here, nice and smooth. Um, so we'll keep going with this. Um, I just went and bought this um, valve lapping Tool today I got it at, um, at super cheap went into auto barn um, auto barn had the lapping tool but didn't have the lapping paste so their loss I went to um, super cheap and bought them there what I was hoping to find was something I could sort of suction onto here and just grind away with it um, I got a um, I have a dent pulling kit which uses a, um, a hot glue gun. I'm thinking about gluing something to my drill and just using the drill for this for this process to see if I can get it to go a bit faster because even after just doing these four and I'm on this on this fifth one here now, it's kind of a bit rough on your on your hands. You can have too much spit and then it doesn't stick. Don't go to town on it. You don't want it to be a big, fat, flat seat. Um, now I'll show you that again. There's just some tiny bits there on the inside, but the rest of it is like really nice. So um, I'm kind of hoping that two or three more goes and that, that will be perfect. And it needs to look like that one there. And it's got that tiny bit of flash on it there. So every now and then give the, the paste a bit of a mix up, it settles and it gets a lot, of, a lot of the liquid on the top and then it doesn't grind, it just rubs. As you can see from the condition of these valves there, I think this motor must have been rebuilt a long time ago. I was told it was the original engine, like I, like I showed you when I stripped it down, it, um, it had um, standard pistons in it but 10 thou over um, bearings. Let's get a bit more in there. 
sounds like it's really grinding now, now that I mixed it. Got a really good seat on it now. So, um, if you have a look at that now, that's got a nice clean silver seat or silver ceiling face on that valve all the way around. A nice big one too. So, it's not like it's only just touching. So, I kind of know that these heads were, you know, the person told me that I got the car off that the engine had done hardly any work. It seems as though it has. There's no carbon and crap built up on this, on the back of these valves. There's no crap built up in the cylinders. And cylinder chambers are anywhere here um, but yeah that's a that's a good seat in there now so what I do is I'll go through and do all of these all of these valves um, I'll show you this big one this is um what is this this is the inlet valve so if you have a look at this inlet valve here before I start you can kind of see it has the remnants of a, a good ceiling face on it, nice and flat and wide. It's not, it's not low, it's not pocketed in this head. You can see how high these exhaust valves here um, stick up. A good a, a sign that they're severely worn is they start pocketing down into the head. Um, this is looking pretty good at the moment. Give this a stir. Once I've finished with this rough or coarse paste, I'll then get onto the the finer paste and the finer paste will bring up the final finish um, you could take this to a machine shop they could um, they could do a head service on them for you but why would you bother if they're in such good condition so here's a bit of glue So that, that's like what's that five five seconds or maybe 15 seconds five goes of that and I'll show you what the seat starts to look like straight away you can you can see straight away that, that gray section there is that ceiling face so it's coming in really quick um, I dare say that it, like I mentioned it wasn't bad to start with but um, lucky for me because if these valves were pocketed in the head I'd have to um, Send them to a machine shop and get them get them done. Good job for all the Boy Scouts out there, all the girl guys out there. Because um, good practice for lighting a fire. Probably a better angle to have a look at the valve after the course process. You can see the valve seat. You see the valve itself. They've got a really good face on them. So, all right, I'll get set up for the fine finish paste. Right, I've opened the the fine end of this now. So I've got the finer, finer paste here, although it looks coarser. Hopefully he, um, the label was on right. Hopefully I didn't just waste my time grinding that away there with fine stuff and let's see anyway. Definitely sounds finer. Do a bit more in there, and we'll 
check it out. It really sounds like it's got good contact faces there, so this should be pretty good when I lift it up and have a look at it. Let's check that out. Oh yeah, that's a great surface finish there on those. Just um, yeah, they're really good. So that fine kind of changed it from a from a bright silvery sort of look to a dull grey look on that seat. But you can see the dark area there and the dark area at the top, and there's probably a five mil five millimeters of face there, and I reckon I have at least three millimeters of seat on that face, so that will seal really well. Anyway, that's the process. Um, like that, that's that good a seat now, I can't even turn the, turn the valve in there anymore. Like it's nice and tight, so, which is good. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, I'll finish these heads off here, get them in the parts washer, and um, there you go, that's, that's how you reseat your valves. Um, once I get it all washed up, I'll take all the I'll take all these are the other valves, the valves for the other head and the springs, take them out of the parts washer, wash them up, get them ready, and um, I'll get back to you when I'm doing reassembly. A little something extra this week. I had someone um, message me the other day saying, what am I doing with this engine? They were looking to buy it. I don't really want to sell it. It's coming out of hot rod. They said, um, what's it like sitting in the engine run stand? I said, I haven't run this engine for I reckon three or four months. Um, so here we go, cold start. It's definitely a cold start. I haven't tried to start it before. I'm going to put my hands on the on the on the headers, not on the heat shield, even on the on the header there. So you know it's definitely cold. Um, I'll just get the battery terminals on. Put a little switch down there. Turn the switch on here. Let the fuel pump prime. I did put fuel in it because um, I drain it when I'm finished playing around with it. I know when I hear that, that low sound that the fuel pump is fully primed, like that. Tick a little bit, no oil in there. Plenty of fumes in the garage now, but uh, there you go. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one.